Hi, these comments are for Steve and I am Michael. Thank you for doing your TOEFL speaking practice and I'm getting ready to listen to your practice test. So let's see what it is. You say, Michael, please listen to evaluate score and provide feedback on my independent speaking practice test number 12. So your TOEFL practice online question is, when giving evaluations and feedbacks to students, should professor directly write them on students' homework? Should they give feedback after class and talk about it face to face? And usually feedback is a uncount noun. We don't make it plural. All right, let's take a look and see how you did on this. Okay, let's find your speaking practice. All right, here we go. I think it's better for professor to write on the feedback on the homework directly. This is because it can save the professor a lot of time. And if there are too many students on the class, it's impossible for the professor to talk with students face by face. And instead of wasting time on this, I think the professor can study some useful skills and the professor can uh, also learn how to make the class better. Besides this, students may feel nervous if the professor uh, talks with them face by face. Okay, so let's take a look and figure out your score here. Let's go to the speaking rubrics. Yeah, I'm thinking about 2.5 to 3. I'm going to put you at 18 to 19 points out of 30. So delivery, you got to work on varying that tone more. I think that's going to be good. You can even work on your thought groups and blending a little bit. Um, I think with topic development, I'm going to listen to it one more time, but I think overall you're organized. Maybe you could do a little bit better with some of the specific examples in there. Let's listen to your practice test one more time. I think it's better for a professor to write on the feedback on the homework. To write. I wouldn't say I think. Just say it's better for professors to write feedback on the assignments rather than meeting with students at the end of the or rather than meet with them at the end of the uh, class. Actually, this is because it can save the professor a lot of time. And if there are too many students on the class, it's impossible for the professor to talk with students face by face. Let me check your language use here. Actually, this is because it can save the professor a lot of time. and. If there are too many students on the class. So instead of using that, just say, for example, I took an organic chemistry class a couple of semesters ago, and there were over 200 people in this class. So it would be impossible for the professor to meet with these individual students for even two or three minutes because the class is simply too big. It's impossible for the professor to talk with students face by face. And instead of wasting time on this, I think the professor can study some useful skills and the professor can uh, also learn how to make the class. Instead of giving benefits of what professors can do or their time, give me another reason why it's important to put feedback on those uh, the assignments or the test. Do you feel that's going to help students learn more effectively? Right? You could give an example to illustrate that for skills and the professor can uh, also learn how to make the class better. Besides this, students may feel nervous if the professor uh, talks with them face by face. Okay, so I think, I think my score is pretty accurate. I'm going to put you to about 18 to 19 points out of 30. So I think you need to get more specific. It says overall development somewhat limited or in the two range. 
you have mostly basic ideas are expressed with limited elaboration details and support so you can do a little bit better with the topic development with the specific details that you use to support the argument you're trying to make and thank you for doing this practice test